going to build a mono shunt steps attenuator using new Chinese blue. So we used to sell these guys and they were gold plated pins, but now the tags are nickel plated. But if you have a look at the switch, it's actually a lot better, the quality of the switch. So this is the lowest costing two pole 24 way switch we sell. Now the shunt steps attenuator is the most popular version of our range of attenuators. Um, basically, relies, each, each channel has one wafer. We don't have the one pole 24 way, so if we're building a mono, we just use the two pole and just use one wafer. So, the great thing about the um, shunt version is one wafer, so you only got one contact. Uh, few number of resistors. Um, the downside is the impedance does vary. So this one is a 10k. But as you go through the sweep it will go up to from 5k to 36k. But to be honest sonically you don't really hear that difference. So we picked all our resistors here. So step one is a wire effectively so nothing there. Step two, all the way to step 23. 24 is, is infinite, so there's nothing there. And then you've got your load resistors here. So very important you get the right value because it won't work right. right let's see, let's, let's go. So, quite a neat, quick, quick, easy build. Slot them through. Always put the tolerance bar, which is the, the silver, silver there, and the brown one, which goes always goes at the bottom. <coughs> not, that, not that it matters which way around they go, but just to keep it uniform. Silver gold solder from Mundorf. Personal fave, always gives you a great join, easy to use. And then I'll snip them down. Did you find me snips? Found them. Then I'll snip down these so I can actually turn. So you'll see that I've missed the first one here. That's because it's just a wire connection that feeds up to there and you have all the earth's connections there. You know where, which end to start because you've got the lug here. So the lug is nearest to tag one, which is there. So now we're going to put, a, put more in. circuit that's for the to give you the loudest volume so back to the start and we're gonna put our earth ring in now get some sleeve in so gauge how much you need there Twist. 
this one is the output, which we'll sort out in a minute. Let's just do the earth ring first. Ideally, I should have made these leads a bit smaller, but as long this is where it hits the chassis, as long as it's not going to touch, these shouldn't be touching the chassis at all. They're a bit close, but they'll be fine. So all we have to do now is just fit the load resistor. So this is a 10K, so I want a 10K version. It's done. Um, so here we have your signal input goes through here to there. Signal output is there, and then your earth is comes to the earth bar there. And then just to give it a good, good test. So we should be reading these values down here. So one on the earth, one on the signal output. So that, oops, zero, two, six, five. This meter isn't the best in the world, but it gives you an idea. You can see the values increasing. Is that? That's good. Ready to go.